On June 21, 2019, a pipe elbow at a refinery in Philadelphia ruptured in the hydrofluoric acid, HF, alkylation unit. One blast propelled a 38,000-pound vessel fragment over the Schuylkill River. While no lives were lost, five workers and one firefighter suffered minor injuries. The disaster caused $750 million in property damage, ranked as the third-largest refinery loss globally since 1974, and ultimately led to the refinery's closure. What happened? At 3.34 a.m., operators began routing propane stripper bottoms product to storage, increasing the feed rate to optimize flow. At this time, the system appeared stable, with no recorded process upsets. At 4 a.m., the feed rate to the T7 propane stripper column increased to 80 barrels per hour. Just seconds after this adjustment, a pipe elbow in the unit ruptured due to severe corrosion, releasing a vapor cloud composed of 95% propane and 2.5% hydrofluoric acid, HF. This cloud engulfed parts of the HF alkylation unit. Operators inside the local control room reported hearing a loud, roaring noise. At 4.01 a.m., field operators attempted to assess the situation and called the emergency response line, describing the release as a major event. The vapor cloud ignited, creating a fireball that compromised nearby equipment and disrupted critical safety systems, including the water spray mitigation system. Flames entered the control room briefly but did not injure the operators. At 4.15 a.m., a secondary explosion occurred, followed by another blast at 4.19 a.m., both likely caused by fire-induced structural failures. At 4.22 a.m., the most powerful explosion occurred when the V-1 treater feed surge drum ruptured violently. The explosion launched a 38,000-pound fragment across the Schuylkill River and sent two additional fragments weighing 23,000 and 15,500 pounds into the refinery complex. At 4.39 a.m., a shift supervisor, wearing firefighting protective gear, manually activated the HF mitigation system pumps, allowing water cannons to spray and suppress the released HF. However, by this time, significant hydrocarbons had already combusted, and HF had dispersed into the atmosphere. The fire continued to burn throughout the day and was extinguished the following morning at 8.30 a.m. What are root causes? Corrosion of piping, the ruptured pipe elbow contained high concentrations of nickel and copper, which accelerated corrosion. Its wall thickness was reduced to 0.011 inches, far below safe levels. Inadequate safety systems, the water mitigation system and emergency isolation valves failed to activate, leaving hydrocarbon sources exposed. Inspection gaps, company did not perform comprehensive inspections to detect corrosion in critical components, despite known risks associated with HF service. Design flaws, the HF alkylation unit lacked inherently safer design practices and was not equipped with modern alternatives to HF. Key lessons and recommendation. Strengthen inspections. Conduct thorough inspections of all carbon steel components in HF service, especially those with high residual nickel and copper content. Enhance emergency safeguards, install remotely operated emergency isolation valves and ensure water mitigation systems are protected from fire and explosion hazards. Adopt safer technologies, replace HF with inherently safer alternatives, such as solid acid or ionic liquid catalysts. Improve regulations, mandate safer technology evaluations and enforce stringent compliance with API RP 751 guidelines. Thank you for watching.